Hello, my dear students. I am Priya Mehta and I am going to teach you science in this session. First of all, I will like to I would like to introduce myself. I am MSc Chemistry, MPhil, B.Ed, with nearly ten years of teaching experience. And uh, from this session onwards, I will be taking science of your class. So, students. Uh, let's begin with the first chapter of our syllabus. The name of the first chapter is Nutrition in Plants. Before I start with the first chapter, I would like to tell you that through your WhatsApp groups, we have sent you ebooks. You can download that ebooks and view that uh, chapter, chapter number one, that is Nutrition in Plants, during these lockdown days. Now let's be back on our first chapter that is nutrition in plants. Children, uh, let's uh, first recall what you have read in class 6th. You have read food is essential for all living beings. Whether it's human beings, plants, animals, birds or small insects. All require food to survive. So you have learned that there are various components of food. You all know carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins and minerals. They are various components of food. This is your topic of your previous class. You have done this in class 6th also. You all know that carbohydrates and fats come under the category of energy giving foods. Like breads, chapati, potato. They all are carbohydrates and paranthas, butter, ghee. They, they come under fats. They provide you amount of energy you need. Point number two, proteins. They are bodybuilding foods. As you people are instructed again and again by your parents or by your elders to eat pulses, to eat eggs so that you can get ample amount of proteins which will help you to grow. As you are in growing age, you need to grow your height, you need to gain weight. So that's why you are being told again and again to have more proteins. Third category of the components of food is protective foods. Protective foods are vitamins and minerals. What we receive from fruits and vegetables. As you all know, if you visit a sick person, what will you carry along? A packet of fruits or a pack of pizza? Obviously, a packet of fruits because fruits are rich in vitamins and minerals and they provide us immunity to fight against the diseases. They come under protective foods. Fine? So now, till now, we have discussed there are three components of food, energy giving foods, that is carbohydrates and fats. Second is bodybuilding foods, proteins. And third is protective foods, vitamins and minerals. So, let us uh, discuss these all, what I have told you, whether it's carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, minerals, they are called nutrients together. They are the nutrients. Fine. So, all living beings need food as I earlier told you. Fine. So, plants are the only living beings which can prepare their food on their own. Rest all depend directly and indirectly on the plants for their food requirements. Let us take an example. You all know Plants can make their food on their own by the process named photosynthesis. Let us discuss example of ourselves, human beings. We depend on plants for our dietary requirements. On the basis of dietary requirements, organisms are categorized into three types. Herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. Again a topic of 6th standard which you have already done. Herbivores are those organisms which feed on plants only like goat, deer, cow. 
carnivores are those which feed on animals flesh of other animals non vegetarian we can say only and only so they are tiger lion wolf etc third category is omnivores omnivores are those organisms which feed on plants as well as on animals they are both vegetarian and non vegetarian in this category dog cat human beings come at we are also omnivores as we can consume vegetarian food as well as non vegetarian food so let us talk about ourselves only human beings we people we people directly or indirectly depend on plants for our dietary requirements fine so now let us discuss mode of nutrition in plants which is the main topic of this chapter which is the main topic which we have to discuss mode of nutrition in plants so plants are the only living beings that can prepare their food themselves and the process which they use to prepare their food is known as photosynthesis so if we try to define what is photosynthesis photosynthesis is a process by which green plants can prepare their food on their own with the help of sunlight with the help of carbon dioxide present in the air in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll is called photosynthesis now i am again uh, defining you the term photosynthesis photosynthesis is defined as a process in which green plants prepare their food in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll with the help of water and carbon dioxide and release glucose and energy and oxygen so during this process of photosynthesis plants use carbon dioxide present in the air water present under the ground in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll with these ingredients they make food for themselves with the food they release oxygen which we require to live to breathe along with this energy is being released now these nutrients which are present in our food or the energy that is given by the plants what are they helpful for they enable us to grow they provide us energy they help us to survive they help to build our bodies and moreover they help us to repair the damage of our body they help to repair the wear and tear of our body as you know that if you have a small cough and cold or little headache you just take rest or eat healthy food it all the way vanishes on its own no medicine is needed because your body is that much strong your immune system is that much strong that it can heal on its own so let us proceed what is nutrition we are talking again and again that we have to do nutrition in plants nutrition in plants what nutrition actually is nutrition is mode of taking food by an organism i repeat nutrition is mode of taking food by an organism and its utilization by the body i repeat nutrition is mode of taking food by an organism and its utilization by the body so the mode of nutrition by which organisms make food on their own is known as autotrophic mode of nutrition the mode of nutrition listen i have explained you what is nutrition now there are various types of nutrition various modes of nutrition 
now at this time i am going to explain you two modes of nutrition first is autotrophic mode of nutrition and the second one is heterotrophic mode of nutrition autotrophic mode of nutrition first the mode of nutrition by which organism make food themselves from simple substances is called autotrophic mode of nutrition first you listen autotrophic this word itself tells everything about it autotrophic word is made by the combination of two words auto plus trophos auto means self trophos means nourishment or nutrition organisms which prepare their food on their own the mode is known as autotrophic mode of nutrition as you all know plants follow this autotrophic mode of nutrition second one is heterotrophic mode of nutrition hetero means others trophos means again nourishment so in this mode of nutrition organisms do not prepare their food on their own rather depend on someone else for their food requirements like we people we require somebody's help we require human uh, human beings require plants to prepare their food or they require some animals for their food if they are non vegetarian <clears throat> so let us uh, discuss uh, nutrition in plants so in this chapter we will mainly focus on autotrophic mode of nutrition so plants are the main source of food for all so which part of the plant makes food you all know as you have done in class 6 also it is leaves patte leaves leaves are called the food factories of the plants or you can say kitchen of the plant so leaves prepare food for the whole plant now the question arises from where does the raw material comes and how this food being prepared in leaves is transported to whole of the plant so uh, listen students raw material which is needed by the plants to prepare food is carbon dioxide gas and water sunlight chlorophyll four requirements are there i again repeat carbon dioxide gas water sunlight and chlorophyll now let us discuss from where all these raw material come from number 1 carbon dioxide from where does this carbon dioxide come from it is us we exhale carbon dioxide in the atmosphere right and plants grasp that and use it for the photosynthesis number 2 it is uh, sorry for carbon dioxide we and animals both exhale carbon dioxide in atmosphere and plants take that gas for the preparation of food number 2 is water now from where does this water come from the plants you have potted in your house you may water them but what about the plants who are in jungle which are present in jungle who goes there to water them nobody the roots of the trees go much deeper in the soil and absorb water from the underground underground water that is being used by the roots next sunlight you all know sun is the major source of energy right and from that plants take energy and proceed next is chlorophyll what is chlorophyll actually it is a pigment it is a pigment which imparts green color to the leaves because of the presence of chlorophyll the leaf of the color is green no it's not all the time 
that all the leaves present in the world are of green color but in most cases chlorophyll is there and the leaves in which the color of the leaf is not green don't think that they do not have chlorophyll they are also having chlorophyll but along with the chlorophyll there are some other pigments which are imparting the color and the chlorophyll is subsided but chlorophyll is also present over there so we have discussed that there are four requirements of the photosynthesis carbon dioxide which is obtained from the atmosphere water obtained from underground sunlight you all know sun is there and chlorophyll that is a pigment present in the leaves which give green color to the leaves after the reaction of these ingredients or the these raw materials what is the product what is being formed what is being released it is carbohydrates i'll give you the equation of this photosynthesis i'll give you all that notes of the topics which i am going to discuss now whatsoever i am speaking don't worry you will get it in the written form also i'll give you the notes that can help you to learn this was our this is our first lecture it is just an introduction i'll give you the written notes and uh, you will come to know more about that so what we were discussing that was good